The bodybuilding workouts change a lot if we compare the recent years and the year 60s and 70s. The overall competition in the society was influencing also the crowd in the gyms. Important is the weight. To put as much weight as possible to lift the ego higher. This tendency is really an effect of a crowd. In the 60s and 70s, the most important factors of training were program composition and also the technique, where speed, the way how to lift, had a very high importance. The magic word at that time was double contraction, a word used by Frank Zane, Arnold Schwarzenegger and recently also by Dorian Yatz during his training session in Birmingham with young people. The double contraction is nothing else as about concentric and eccentric movements. Many people today do not even know what this means. Let's take bicep curls with a barbell. When you curl your arms, it's a concentric movement which means a shortening and the contraction of the target muscle, in this case biceps. The same principle can be used in bench press. When you push the weight up, you do a chest concentric movement and going slower down, you do a chest eccentric movement. When you straighten your arm from the top curl position, this movement is eccentric which is a lengthening of the biceps muscle while contracting uh, the muscle. The same is when you let the weight going down by uh, the chest press. Many trainers in body bodybuilding and weightlifting in general are saying that the eccentric muscle contraction is stronger as the concentric movement and some of them consult to people to do it with heavy weights whereby the concentric movement is helped by a partner. I am personally against this forcing technique as the results were never proved at 100% and in plus it's a complicated training, you need a partner. But you can adapt your personal workout in a more natural way during your training with weights which are allowing you to do a concentric movement in about 1-2 seconds and then the eccentric movement in double time. It's called also a negative training principle. The benefit of such concentrated training is that you will produce good quality muscles because you will destroy during your training a higher percentage of muscle fibers. So the reconstruction process will be much more efficient. It is difficult to do double contraction training with an overweight. You have to adapt the weight to the fact that movements, the concentric and also the eccentric, have to be done with maximum intensity, which asks for a very high mental and muscular engagement. Try it and you will see the result. Use this principle in all exercises in the gym. Thank you for listening and have a nice day and a very nice workout.